Hello, it's me, Zoa, and today I'm going to talk to you about this. A lot about it. The Spear of Destiny. I have two because it exists in more than one form. And if you look, if you watch an Ancient Aliens episode, where they're talking about the Karnak Stones of Brittany, France, there's a circ like a oval hinge and lines up properly two scale diagram with like the spear of destiny yeah in its complete form because the gold one is missing one of the sides because someone else has got it in one of the heads and the other one is missing both heads but it would line up like that the complete circle so we're going to go on to explain what is the spear of destiny it's said in legend that anyone who has the spear of destiny will receive extreme luck from the luck bounds of the universe okay so and it will connect you to God himself yep I'll explain that properly shortly you've all seen some of it there okay halo it exists as the halo activation key and also in the episode, the duel, you see an old Arbiter fighting Harker, who was trying to bully him into joining the Covenant. Now then, Energy Sword, which I'm making into a wand, versus, because it's sort of Gryffindor as well, versus Harker's traditional sword. They kill each other. They're meant to be used together, not against each other. There's two Spear of Destinies. In fact, there's more than two. A lot more than two. Across the timelines and still exist. Because um, a few people have owned them in the past. And now... Yep. I didn't realise, but the Spear of Destiny itself... I'm going to call it the Eye of Fundera as well, because of the time which we're going to see it's pointing out the eye of that swamp. Yeah, because it's about swamps and bet and treasure. Because I went to the swamp with that yesterday over here to do a ritual create a wand, the elder wand. But I'm not gonna tell you what it's made out of. You're not allowed to know that yet. However, I can tell you this. Yep, that's Seagull said so. So we've got the Curse Vault Island, the swamp. We've been digging in the eye. We've uncovered a flood tunnel. Now, what do you suppose they're hiding in the swamp? The Ark of the Covenant, perhaps? Yep, could be. Now, the Flood from Halo, the Parasite the Flood, it's also the Xenomorph the Flood, you know? It's Dark Matter. Dark Matter is both good and bad. It's what allows us to communicate telepathically, for a start, and it allows us to exist in all matters of form. We have Grey Matter, or this stuff is Grey Matter, the solid, the physical. So, then you have your antimatter. That is the spirit energy, your ghost. And then you got your dark matter. And that is what constitutes your thoughts in your brain. Allows you to image your thoughts in the space-time continuum. Allows you to connect to the space-time continuum. In other words, praying to God to use a dark matter to pray to him. Think of it that way. It's really what you want to say to him, to him so he can hear you through there. And vice versa, say, I hear God speaking to me, exactly how people hear, I got you two from Pokemon speaking telepathically to them. That's exactly how I, I hear this voice in my head that's told me all this. I hear them like you two from the Pokemon movies. And there's a reason why that stopped there, subconsciously. Because speaking of swamps, Pokemon Black and White starts in a swamp in the valley. And now look at that. What is that in that stone? What sword is in that stone? What is it? Why is it the same shape? I only watched Pokemon Black right yesterday. Because it tells of two spears across two different timelines in another universe, the Shoreverse, where Dragon Ball exists. The Dragon Force is called in there. Victini is a Pokemon attached to these. This is why the Spear of Destiny affects the luck balance of the universe. 
Now think of God being attached to a holy object like the star of heaven or the Bible. Now Archangel Gabriel is actually represented as both Reshiram and Kiyu, uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. It's the same guy. See my latest alien spaceship video where I was on the Infinity Bridge. If you look and freeze the frame, I haven't explained this because I haven't got the image on hand. I can't. But actually, this, this, you had the spaceship, the, the flying saucer lighting up like a star. And then above it, the cloud the cloud formations were affected to make it look like a flying dragon slash angel slash thunderbird. It looked a bit like that as well. But that's both a fiery dragon or a thundery dragon. It's the same thing. And he throws over the crop circle on the river because he is also the third. Kayuren. Alright. Now Kayuren is an ice dragon. And now we've got the ice dragon of the bar dragon. That's going to be our dragon of the ice barrier. So if we go to this rune inscription on here, we have the Norse god Odin getting in the light. Right here. Nope, let's get the flashlight on for some reason. It just doesn't want to highlight. And for some reason, the flashlight option is not here as I'm recording it. Right, I've got a thing now. There we go. Right. This guy here is Odin. The Norse God. Odin. There's something blocking the light. There is something blocking the light. There we are. Right. And there he's holding a silver spear. Gungnir. There's another called Trishla, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, and it has three heads. This had a third head there, but someone else, a good friend, owns that part of that spear. And the same with the missing circle part of that. Now, we've got here, we have a boss dragon. And it is, like, you think it's like when High Chariot and Halo got infested with a flood. Crashed on Earth. 300 Spartans of ours will be coming on again to stop it again with Jesus and God and other people helping out. And Ouroboros in the Bible, uh, not Ouroboros in the Bible, sorry. It is in the Bible, but it represents a serpent that wraps around the earth. Right. Now, on the back of my star of heaven, yeah, not only have you got me, it's a meteor that's come from the Pleiades star cluster. See my previous videos to get the proper imagery to compare it and do this quick. There's a fossil there, and that's got to be a fossil of an alien. And now, on the back, we have a great Leviathan serpent of destruction at the back of the mind because that's a skull as well I noticed it's at the back of the mind the serpent is at the back of everyone's mind the dark matter which Thor had to destroy at Wagner Rock cut off its tongue with his hammer and got sprayed with its acidic venom and died now then oh boss that's in a few things. It's in the Bible as far. It's also in Resident Evil. It's in a few things. And the Leviathan itself. Across mythologies it is. And it's in the Bible as well. In the Bible it grows three heads. But all boss grows three heads. It's up to us to stop it. You look at this. It's... Obviously, it's the movie 300. It's 300 Spartans. That looks like the Halo Index activation key from Halo. And as I mentioned in the episode, the duel, they're meant to be used together. You dual wield them. Yep, there's two sides to the same story. They're often one in the same thing. Multiple ways. Now, for my most recent, this came out in 1985. I was born in 88. I've only just got this yesterday. Only started watching it. I used to have the audio tape cassette, so I only used to be able to listen to this. Now then. Thunder! 
No coincidence. No coincidence, guys. Yep. And unfortunately, the eye of Fundera, which is basically just the eye of a jat, God, think of a sphinx. Eye of a jat. It's coming from out there. It's the signal. Just construct this like this. Might say the signal a bit more clearly. Signal. Go on across space and time. Not just here in this universe. This is going across space and time. The winter solstice today as well. And therefore, any moon discs have been slow burning and now fully eclipsed. Like the one to Atlantis there. The one to Valhalla are now fully eclipsed. Fully working wormholes ready to just pop through. Sounds like it needs a tune-up, though. Right. So, as you can see, um, it really does exist in many shapes and forms. It really does. There's two, there's always two variants. That's where people get it wrong. There's two variants. We heisted it from there, because if you watch that, then purple stones turn into black pillar stones. Now guess what they are? We're going to have our dust stones here, to protect us from the parasite. That's what we do, protect Victini. Gabriel escorted them. Let's just say we are pulling two universes together for all this as well. More than two. The main timeline of the showverse, the main timeline of Hermos or Universe, because that's a wormhole, remember? Covering all manners of forms. Slip space drive, you know? That's what that is. The best sort of stone, one of the best stones to use for that oscillation, right, is Moldavite. And that's another thing these are proven for, because I keep finding this, but it's not just for me. I need to give it out, because this is a rupture of our people up as well, so... I bought that shard, I found that shard, I had to buy some because once he's come into my possession, they gave the powers of all of these as well. And then it becomes embedded within the stone. So there's Moldavite, that as well is 15 million years old. As old as the forerunners are from Halo, you see. Now, the Halo activation key seems to be made out of these colours as well. Hmm. It does seem a bit odd though. There's always colour coordination everywhere you go about what can do what. A lot the bolder bike that we used at Atlantis, you see. They combined it with calcum. They've done the wrong thing, but that bolder bike got corrupted. So something needs cleansing basically. Divine cleansing. So also gotta do that. I've need to get a hold of more stuff like I've getting a hold of more meat yours. These ones are bought, I've got three of them. Explain more about these ones later, but basically, this one's a metallic one. It came from the core of an asteroid or planet, or whereas this one's mainly rock, and it came from the outside or another celestial body. So we've got stars of heaven, and these are called the tears of heaven. Heaven is in the time-space continuum. Time-space continuum is course through there in the blank white space. Where you die, you're having your death experience through there. You go to sleep, you have your dream through there. Close your eyes right now. What colour do you see? Now open them, look at this picture. Close your eyes. What colour do you see? Open the eyes. Now what do you see? You're looking into it. Because that's your dream space. Heaven is one place in there. The time-space continuum. And another thing. We can grow our own buildings. We need not use bricks. Because if our universe. Who is represented by Victini. Here. And Snarf in there. And it's her most. It's recent Dragon Ball. If we can grow our own. Mr. 
if she can grow her own pyramids, they look like gemstones. Right, complete with, look at the detail on it. Square, right angle. If you think about that, right, that's the base. In here, it's also got its own different levels, different floors, different rooms. All the way at the top of the pyramid there. So, why are we building with individual bricks and stones when we can go grow? Grow our own buildings. A bit like what the precursors did in Halo Legends. Now, you see, I couldn't have got all this information without the eye from there, which is actually just the eye of a giant listening to God and, you know, doing the right thing. So, as it's described in there, evil cannot be done with the spear of destiny. Well, that's all I've got to discuss about that for now. But, yep, if you guys have anything you want to say about that, feel free to get in contact. Um, yep. So, and as for Christmas, a year ago I did a Christmas special. This is the result. The Rainbow Bridge is open. Valhalla. You saw the Rainbow Bridge last year on that Christmas special on camera. It flashed out of that pole. 